Good morning, guys. It is day 22. <laughs> I've lost count. Anyway, I was trying to find new ribbon for my stocking holder little name tags because I don't really like what I have. It needs a little more oomph, you know, a little extra. And I'm going to be filling them soon. So I wanted to get that taken care of. And I was plundering through my messy craft closet could not find what I'm looking for. I have like scraps and I was hoping I had more. So I don't know, I'm not sure. I may just leave them, but let me show you a couple of my options. This is what I was looking for in there. And I love that there is no wire on it and it just kind of lays really, really pretty. But I don't have enough because I need to do six. And there's, I think four here. <laughs> But on a positive note, I found my little necklaces. I just need to work on some battery situations and then hopefully those will work for Christmas Eve because those are so fun. It's kind of dark in here. I'm not sure if you can even see anything, but I have like all of my ribbons, like scrap ribbons and things like that in here. I do really like this ribbon. I would have to cut it and then one side would have wire and then the other side wouldn't. And I don't know if that would even look right, but I do love that ribbon. And of course there's Buffalo check. I don't have enough of this green. It's almost empty. Uh, I have quite a bit of the black and white Buffalo check that I could cut, but same situation with the wire. May not be quite as noticeable because the pattern is more busy. And that would match a lot of my Christmas decor out there. Just wasn't really the look I was going for. And then I have like the stand. This is actually an old dresser drawer from a hundred year old um, dresser that had fallen apart. And I just added these little doohickeys and this thing just pops out and then I can grab my um, whatever I'm wanting and then just put it back. So it's kind of cool. And then I used one of the smaller dresser drawers and added a couple shelves. And then that's how I display my paints. So I'm still using all the parts and pieces of that dresser that broke. I just got my email notification from Walmart saying my grocery pickup is ready. Um, I can't really remember what is in it. If there's anything interesting, if there is, I will share it when we get back. But yeah, I know that peanut butter is on the list. So <laughs> that way I can make that recipe I was talking about before, the fudge, the peanut butter fudge. So I'm excited about that. All right, I am back from Walmart. They have been really good lately, like really fast to your car. And you know, you don't have to wait very long. So that's been really nice, especially this time of year because they've been really busy. Um, you know, I have had to wait a couple of days from placing my order to picking it up, but it's so worth doing that pickup. But I'm gonna show you like the more interesting things that I got and what I plan on using them for. And then I'll show you like my refill stuff. On Christmas day, I don't cook a big meal. We kind of just do like charcuterie and uh, little snacky type things because I would be stuck in the kitchen all day cooking and cleaning and would not be able to have any fun. So we went to the little snacky type foods that I can cut up and prepare the day before and then we just throw it all out and we're good. But I do start the day off making breakfast and I used the Pioneer Woman's French Toast recipe and so I've got all of this here for the French toast. It calls for lemon zest, half and half. There's like eggs and vanilla and all that kind of good stuff in it. And they are so good. They are a family favorite for sure. And then I also got like some biscuits and sausage. And then for um, some of our snacks, I do like the little ham and Swiss sliders. That is a favorite. And I use the King, King's Hawaiian bread, so yummy. Um, here's some of the other, like some smoked ham, which is our favorite. There's some roast beef and hard salami. The Swiss is, some of it is for the sliders. Of course, brie cheese. And then I chop up some other cheeses. And then we have some buffalo chicken wings with sauce, some dip. I got some more stuff for cracker candy, of course. And then also some more chips just in case. And I'm going to be trying 
these pizza pretzel things. It's like pizza dough stuffed with cheese and then you top it with more cheese and pepperoni and then you shape it in like a pretzel thing. Like you cut the crust in like, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, like thin strips and then you can make your pretzel out of that. And then you just break it apart and dip it in pizza sauce. So I'm going to try that. I will show you if I do it before Christmas, it'll be on Vlogmas. Um, and then I also got some more peanut butter, which I desperately needed. And then I, I have, this is going to be um, a sausage and pepper meal. I have never bought these brat buns before, so I had no idea how big they were. Well, they're, they're actually really tiny. So I had a little chuckle when I pulled those out and I'm hoping I cut these in thirds. So they're probably going to hang out a little bit, but that's okay. And of course, you know, an easy meal for me. I love the Stouffer's lasagna and for the price, I can't make it. And also for the time. I mean, it's just so good. Here's just a scan of all the boring stuff that I needed refills for. Um, yeah, you know, a lot of this is staples, you know, I made the chili, so I always replace what I use, so my pantry is always full. Living in Wyoming, you never know when you're getting a snowstorm, or, you know, with the, the way the world is, your stores might close. So I'm always keeping a full pantry these days, and yeah, that's all that that is. We just finished our Thirsty Thursday for this week, and this is so good. It is an eggnog based drink. So if you are interested, Shelby's here. Hi. <laughs> that was her hand. <laughs> if you guys are into eggnog alcoholic drinks, you're going to want to follow us on Instagram and check out our Thirsty Thursday on Christmas Eve because oh my gosh, that was awesome. I kind of let the afternoon get away from me, but I do have lasagna in the oven and laundry going. So thumbs up for that. I am going to be making that peanut butter fudge that I've talked about right now. It's super simple. I think there's like four ingredients and it's all stovetop. So let me show you what I got going on. First of all, who has recipes that are on sticky notes? <laughs> I have several. I should probably transfer them to something a little nicer. But yeah, we have two cups of sugar, half cup milk, a jar of the marshmallow cream, and a jar of peanut butter. And we are just going to do it on the stovetop. So I have my two cups of sugar already in my pot and I'm just going to add to that a half a cup of milk. And then I'm going to bring this to a boil. Alright, we are boiling and now we have to wait three minutes and then we're going to turn the heat down add our marshmallow and peanut butter, and then pour it in our buttered pan. Everything is calm, now it's midnight. Everybody's sleeping, all is peace. And I'm still hanging round in a house that's filled with lights. Walking through a midnight wonderland The wise man keeping watch Now it's midnight And though it's cold outside We're staying warm And the star will always shine It's the season for all time Walking in our midnight warm that is it. It calls for a 9 by 9 buttered pan, but mine's 11 and a half by 8, and it still fills it up pretty nicely, so this is what I use. We're just going to let them cool, and then they'll be ready to eat, probably tomorrow. I'm just sitting here waiting on my lasagna. I decided to try and fix my little necklaces, 
that one is working. This one kind of has a short in it. So you can see when I touch the wires, I am not sure where that's at. It may not even be fixable. They weren't very expensive, but it'd be cool to have them both. Right, guys that's gonna be it for today's video um, tomorrow I think MJ will be here so that does change some of the things that I do but I definitely need to wrap so we'll be doing that um, I don't know maybe some more baking because you know it's not Christmas yet we still have to eat the goodies but yeah um, we'll test our fudge oh and we're also gonna work on the initials on the cutting boards uh, my husband did one um, just kind of as a test and it's really cute but I'm going to show you like the whole setup and everything that we're using so stay tuned for that tomorrow you guys go and have a great evening and I'll see you tomorrow bye